glasses. That's some my very own custom-made Boomer Key sunglasses in KU Blue. Okay, time to sit down and explain to everybody why, why, why I wear sunglasses. Especially the crazy colored ones like I have on right now. I've had a lot of people ask me, Boomer, could it be by chance that you're trying to be cool like that guy on the internet, Casey Neistat? Mm, I, I got to admit, I, I think Casey is one really cool guy. I love his style and his signature sunglasses, you know, the ones with the paint around the edges and stuff, really set him apart from everybody else. And that is the pure definition of cool. In fact, over my lifetime, there's been a dozen or more men who absolutely nailed it when it came to sunglasses. And that helped to define who they are. Take, for example, there's uh, Harry Grant, um, Steve McQueen, uh, Warren Beatty, uh, Robert Redford, um, and hey, who can forget the James Bond guy? You know, Connery, Craig, uh, Brosnan, Dang, those guys were cool. And of course, the ultimate Mr. Sunglasses, Jack Nicholson. I'll admit, I'm not Jack Nicholson, and I'm not what you'd call cool. So, why the sunglasses, Boomer? Well, I will admit, I did kind of steal them, the idea from Casey Neistat, but there is a legitimate reason why I wear sunglasses. And here it is. Over the past three years, I've had multiple eye surgeries. It just happens when you get old. And my eyes are sensitive to light. One of the surgeries I had was for a detached retina. Now I gotta tell you, if you've never had a detached retina, it'll scare the hell out of you. I actually thought I'd gone blind. I mean, it happened quick. One minute I was driving in my car in the rain over to a friend's house, and the next minute, everything was black. I panicked. Emergency surgery. How do they repair a detached retina, you ask? Simple. It's called a pars plana vitrectomy with sclerobuckling procedure. Holy crap, is that a mouthful. We're going to use this here orange to help explain it. Pretend this orange is your eyeball. My, what beautiful orange eyes you have, my dear. First, they knock you out. Then they bring in the surgeons. Then they jab three oh. hollow tubes right in the middle of your eye. Oh. One is a light source so the surgeon can see the oh. inside of your eye. One is for sucking fluids out of your eye. And one is for inserting an intraocular gas to hold the retina back in place after the surgery. Damn! Ew. Then they wake you up very quietly from your anesthesia. Then they tell you you have to spend the next six days lying face down for 23 hours a day. But it all worked out. The doctors did a great job. I can see perfect now. How many fingers do you see, Boomer? One. Let's go back to Casey Neistat for a second. You know, I may not be as cool as Casey, but he and I do have a lot in common. To start with, we both believe in hard work and adventure. Plus, pretty obvious, we're both pretty good looking dudes. <laughs> One cool thing is we both have money to burn. <laughs> Not only that, we both love to skateboard. 
I've been skateboarding since 1969, way before Casey was even born. But I do have to admit, uh, Casey's taken it to another level. I tell you, craftily dodging traffic in New York City is a true art form. Hey, I've dodged flying bugs while skateboarding, though. I do have one claim to fame when it comes to skateboarding, though. I was officially clocked at 53 miles an hour on a skateboard in 1971. I still even have the skateboard that I did it with. A Turner Summer Ski. It's actually a slalom board, but I used to use it for both slalom and downhill. Check it out. Woo-wee! 53 miles an hour. Another thing Casey and I have in common is we both have traveled all around the world. In fact, I've been to 19... Hold on just a second. It's my sister calling. Hey, sis. How you doing? Good. I I'm just sitting here working on one of my videos. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, hey, that's awesome, sis. By the way, have you ever heard of that uh, internet guy, uh, Casey Neistat? Come on, sis. I didn't steal his idea. I just like the way they look on him. They're cool sunglasses. Anyway, I was just telling people how much uh, Casey and I are alike. Oh, smarty, smarty, smarty. Well, for example, I was just telling people how he and I have both traveled all around the world. In fact, in my lifetime, <laughs> I've been to 19 different countries. Really? Wow. Hmm. Well, did, did you know that we both love drones? Heck, I've even got the DJI Mavic 2 Pro with a Hasselblad 4K camera built into it. I love it! And it is freaking awesome! Really? He's got five drones? Oh, hmm. Yeah, I guess I've heard something about that. Hey, but guess what else? We both love photography and filmmaking. Well, you know, hey, I have done some, you know, some weddings and some high school, you know, sports videos and stuff. A um, couple of YouTube videos and, uh, yeah, I made a couple of bucks. But, hey, it's still filmmaking, isn't it? Casey and I both done skydiving, and I know I've made more jumps than Casey. I've got 608 confirmed logged jump. Mm. Oh, dang it. Cameras, yeah, that's it. We both own some of the... I got it running. We both love to run. That's not true. Who are you kidding? Hey, at my age, I'm in pretty good shape. So hop over there, s. Okay, okay. So Casey and I may not have that much in common. No big deal. But hey, he and I are still brothers in spirit when it comes to hard work and adventure. And we both look pretty good with black eyes.